everyone, today I'm going to tell you about the human impacts on the environment. Let's start on some positive aspects. The advancement of technology has led us to a new era of genetic engineering. This has led to the increase of crop production rates. Another significant achievement from genetic engineering is that we can use cloning techniques to produce a population of organisms. We are also able to research closely to diseases and develop the cure. We also have manufactured pesticides, insecticides, fungicides, and herbicides to ensure undisturbed crop growth. We have developed technology in such a way we can control greenhouses' temperature, humidity, lighting, and even watering it automatically. Also, we now know how to use satellites to monitor crops. Okay, enough of the good stuff. Now let's move on to the negative aspects. The increasing demand for land space have made us humans do a quite reckless thing, which is deforestation. Hundreds and thousands of forests have been cut down for housing, industries, and etc. Humans also contribute the most to pollution. The combustion of fossil fuels from our cars contributes the most to sulfur dioxide pollution. The sulfur dioxide will be dissolved in clouds along with water molecules and other gases. Sulfur dioxide will be condensed in clouds and at a certain point, it will precipitate and rain down on the earth. But this rain is pretty much different from the others. The sulfur dioxide will reduce the pH of the water to less than 7, making it acidic. When it rains down to the earth, it will cause several damages, such as the acidification of lakes and streams, damage of trees at high elevations, and the corrosion of buildings, metals, statues, and etc. Another bad impact from sulfur dioxide pollution is that it induces the greenhouse effect. Light from the sun will hit the earth, and with the reflective nature of light, it will bounce back to its source, but in this case, it won't. The pollution in the air serves as a dome that covers the earth, restricting light to bounce back. This will cause the temperature of the earth to rise drastically, causing global warming in the end. As I mentioned before, one of the positive aspects that us humans did is that we have found pesticides, fertilizers, and other chemicals to promote crop health. But no, aside from killing harmful species, these phosphate-containing fertilizers will induce algal blooming. Phosphate will be washed by the rain to water bodies, and this process is called eutrophication. Phosphate supports the growth of red algae. As red algae grows rapidly, they will form layers covering one another. As photosynthesizing plants, this algae needs light, and the algae on the bottom is restricted to it. This will cause the algae to die. So, what happens next? Bacteria eat up the dead algae. These bacteria take up oxygen in space and causes the fishes and other aquatic animals to suffocate and die. Another thing that we are fond of doing is littering. Everywhere, it's like we are leaving our footprints in the form of garbage. Industries are also fond of dumping toxic waste to nearest water bodies. This action does not impact the biggest on aquatic animals, no, but on us humans. Why? Let's take a look at this typical food chain. We have the producer and the consumers. Let's say that this hexagon right here is the amount of chemicals present from the contamination. Now you see how it increases up the food chain? Well, this process is called biomagnification. When this happens, us humans have a high chance of getting diseases such as cancer. Hmm, so are you scared yet? Well, don't be. There are a lot of things we can do to save the environment and save ourselves. By using public transportation, bikes, and equipped catalytic converters in our cars, we can minimize the use of fossil fuels. We could also increase the use of renewable energy such as solar, geothermal, wind, hydroelectric, and etc. We can also make use of laws to restrict public access to certain habitats to reduce illegal hunting and poaching. Another thing that we can do is to educate people about the importance of conserving the environment. 
never ever litter, or join or start community events which involves cleaning up your environment. Lastly, you should raise awareness and tell others why conservation is important. Let's save the environment, shall we? Let's make this earth a better place.